Hey there guys and welcome back. I'm super sorry I wasn't here on my channel. I didn't post for three weeks now, approximately. I was sick, I had a lot of studying to do, so forgive me for not being here, for not posting. But I'm back and today I took a day off for you guys to film a bunch of videos, a bunch of reviews and other stuff. So I could post them more uh, frequently, even if I'm studying. And today we are going to do a review of this uh, Essence Stay uh, 16 hour long lasting concealer. Uh, just because I don't really wear makeup and I'm not into makeup that much. I'm only, I only started looking into it uh, recently. I'm far more of a skincare junkie than a make makeup junkie. And uh, one item that I'm always interested in is a, uh, is a concealer because um, I have dark under eye circles uh, but uh, it's never a problem for me really. Uh, I only wear a, con a concealer when I have a public speech to do or if I'm sick and I have a red nose or this area kind of gets bleedy and all chapped then I will use it there. So I've been trying to find a really nice concealer and I think this is a great one. So let me tell you a few things about it. So this concealer, as I said, is called uh, Essence Stay All Day 16 Hour Long Lasting Concealer. Uh, if you guys know Essence, it is a pretty popular brand here in Europe and also in Australia and Canada, America. It's getting popular there as well. Uh, if you uh, guys heard of it, you must know that it's uh, pretty cheap uh, and affordable. Uh, not meaning that the products are uh, of low quality, where some, some are and some are great. Uh, but I think this concealer is great. It sadly comes only in two different shades, so the shade uh, selection isn't very big. And uh, not many people are going to be happy with that. Um, the first color is uh, number 10, it's natural beige, which is a bit uh, yellow, a bit more yellow toned. And then we have number 20, which is soft beige, and this is a bit more pink toned. Uh, this is the updated packaging, and this is the older packaging. Uh, I first bought this concealer because I thought it was brighter, but then I bought this one and I realized that the only difference uh, with them was the undertone. So pink and yellow, but they are uh, uh, the same in terms of brightening your under eye circles. I think the, they give approximately the same amount of uh, brightness. Uh, this is neither is darker or brighter, it's the same, it's just the undertone. So yeah, so in terms of ingredients, this is a silicone based concealer. So that means it has a lot of uh, cyclopentasiloxane, uh, dimethicone and other uh, silicones in it. It also has some polyethylene uh, glycol in it and polypropylene glycol. And um, it, all, uh, it also has a bit of hydrolyzed wheat gluten. I don't know if that's okay for celiac disease or not. Uh, my a schoolmate who has celiac disease uh, said that uh, it's not okay if you put it on, I mean you should avoid it, uh, but otherwise it's uh, okay, it doesn't have any fragrances, it's also vegan because it doesn't have any beeswax in it and the good uh, thing with essence is also that it does not test on animals, so that's great. Okay, so now the theoretic part is over and now let's try out the application and how it wears. So on my left eye, I will try the number 10. It's the natural beige, so it's the yellow toned one. And on my uh, right eye, I will try uh, the number 20 soft beige, which is the pink toned. You can apply the concealer with your fingers and it turns out okay. But today I'm going to use this damp beauty blender by uh, Body and Soul from Muller. Uh, just because I think it gives a more a natural, even look. Okay, so on my right eye it is number 20, so the pink tone. And I will use only one layer for now. Okay. Okay, so this is only one layer of the concealer and you can already see that this side is much more um, highlighted and brighter than this side 
you can see you can obviously see the uh, dark circles on my left eye but on this side they are quite a bit covered so the coverage is not full coverage it, I think it's medium coverage but, but uh, as you will see you can build it up but first let's try uh, my left eye with the yellow toned concealer so this is a number 10 natural beige Okay, so we are finished on my left eye and I don't know if you guys can see it on camera but I can clearly see that this side, the yellow tone, so number 10, uh, I can obviously tell a difference between them. Uh, I prefer this one, the pink tone, just because my skin is more pink toned, I think, or neutral uh, than yellow. And I also think that this, the pink tone, so number 20, um, the pink tone uh, offsets my uh, kind of greenish or bluish uh, under eye circles so they look a bit more uh, neutral I mean they are both okay but in color correction this one is far better so number 20 okay so now I will try uh, a second layer and you will see how it looks if it builds up or not Okay, so now I have two layers of concealer under my eyes and as you can see they do a pretty nice job I think of covering up my dark circles. I prefer the pink toned uh, concealer, so number 20, uh, but in terms of coverage they are about the same. Uh, they are not full coverage and if you build them up they won't get full full coverage, but they get a good coverage if that makes any sense so yeah they are quite good for a drugstore concealer for 1 euro 99 but now you might ask me what about longevity and I'm happy to say that this concealer lasts uh, for quite a long time it won't stay on for 16 hours that's uh, I mean too optimistic even for high, some high-end concealers but um, it will last for about 68 hours, I think, before it will start, start kind of uh, thinning out in coverage. And what I'm really happy about is that this concealer does not crease into my fine lines uh, around my eyes. I have some expressional fine lines around my, uh, under my eyes because I smile a lot like this and then I get fine lines over the course of the day and concealer tends to kind of rub on into those uh, nooks and crannies but this concealer does not uh, when it sets it stays in place and that's amazing even for a drugstore concealer and it, uh, people don't see it that it sits on your skin i have asked uh, some of my friends if they see that i have a concealer on i have only used one layer but it still covered my dark eyes quite dark circles quite nicely and they said no we don't see it it's an amazing concealer what is this concealer and then I asked them what do you think and then they said I know La Roche Posay and I'm not <laughs> no essence for two euros and say shut up <laughs> so as you can see I love this concealer and I think you guys should try it out uh, it's uh, cheap it's two euros or two dollars uh, somewhere around here and I will be uh, comparing this concealer to other drugstore or high-end concealers if I had if I got my hands on them and we will see how it compares so stay tuned and subscribe thank you for watching bye bye